how would a resident, uh, if they were interested in getting involved with the foundation, and what exactly does the foundation stand for? Yep. Um, the, the simple thing, and the whole reason we got started was uh, back in mid-90s, uh, there were referendums to raise the, the tax rate to, and it failed. And so there were a lot of uh, co-curricular programs and, you know, languages, foreign languages, the middle schools were cut and, and some of the more robust educational programs were cut. And some people stepped up and, and so the foundation was put together um, to try to restore those programs or bring some of them back by having teachers uh, write educational programs. So they, they write a grant and they come up with an educational program and then they ask uh, us for the money to fund that. So, for instance, um, I'll, give, I'll give you, uh, and, and some of it, some of it changes the curriculum. So there's a, we get two or three examples where something that started out as a grant is now part of the education curriculum that, that's funded by the school district. Got it. Um, one of those years back was a was a reading program um, by the name of Waterford. So it's a Waterford reading program. Uh, we got a grant from what is now Comcast, but back then was I think AT and T, Cablevision or something. Different, different AT and T or maybe uh, whatever it was. We got this ten thousand dollar grant to try out to, to pilot this reading program, and the, it worked so well that they, uh, the school district took the results and decided to find a way to fund it. Um, another one was uh, digital video editing at Romeville High School. Yes. It wasn't being done. Uh, wasn't being taught as a course. So this, uh, the teachers came up with the idea to write the grant to get the equipment, and then they put together the curriculum. And this is over and above the daily classroom time. So everything that we we everything that we fund is over and above the regular curriculum funded by the school district. And so the teacher, number one, has to come up with the idea. Number two, they you know they they design it. They come up with the materials, and then if they win it, uh, then you know they go ahead and, and then they have to deliver it over and above what they're doing in the, in the classroom. So that's the kind of the unique thing about our organization is we're able to to um, um, you know encourage the teachers to go above and beyond, and they're doing. You know, it's a pretty wide variety of things. Um, if there's uh, uh, reading, uh, literacy programs for math and reading and science. There, there covers the, the theatrical programs, the uh, band, uh, music programs. So I gave you a list of, of the different things funded this year. Um, and so it covers a really wide, you know, as much as the imagination can handle, uh, what the teacher comes up with, you know, it goes, goes ahead and gets... Uh, uh, you know, they write up the idea, and then we go ahead and, and uh, fund it. You know, we make sure that the we've got an anonymous committee who who review the grants and score them for us, so that we don't we don't really get into playing favorites. Right. So I like that other aspect of it. It's a very I don't want to say playing favorites, but it's a very objective process that um, that is different each year because you know, as as the judges review and score. Somebody who was really good. We had a guy at BHS who was getting his program approved every other year <laughs> um, because it's an anonymous review. Right. It's like the way things were scored. They're scored. It's a fresh batch every year. So he just happened to get something funded, get his program that he liked funded every other year. So um, you know, the most recent example of, of adoption was. Um, uh, software program for an online learning program called Brain Pop, and uh, that was run by individual schools. For started out in Pioneer, and then other schools picked it up, and uh, they they it met with such success that last year the school district decided to fully fund it, and so that every school has it now. So you know we like to consider, we like to believe that. You know, with the, the, the phenomenal community support that we get, we're able to encourage teachers are going to reach into their pockets anyway if they believe in something, and they're going to they're going to try to come up with the money. They're doing that today, 
Uh, and that's all we're doing is trying to help, you know, come up, give the kids a better educational experience through creativity for the teachers. And parents get involved as well. So the boosters, the head of the boosters for RHS, uh, for band, uh, they come up with several educational programs for for the band, and, and we bought some instruments, bought some music. Um, so it's not just uh, teachers, administrators who come up with the programs, parents and, and organizations also come up with them.